It's Kalasali on Sporting Icons. Okay, so Eddie Hearn has been doing his usual round of interviews with the usual click. And within those interviews, he made mention to how he sent a letter to somebody on the side of the street of Sky Sports Box or Ben Shalom, maybe all of them, he wasn't quite specific who, over an approach made for Chris Eubank Jr. versus Connor Ben in December, but the fight happens on Sky Sports. So he sent a letter, obviously because Connor Ben is contracted to Matchroom and maybe he's contracted to DAZN as well. Maybe he's got a network deal with them as well. Okay, now, before we move on, what I can tell you is that no talks have happened at Sky Sports or Boxer to make Chris Eubank Jr. versus Conor Ben in December. That much I can tell you. I can also tell you that no approach has been made to Conor Ben. Doesn't matter how I know these things, but I know these things, okay? Now, let's just play devil's advocate, okay? Now, excluding that maybe Eddie Hearn has been misinformed, or maybe he's exaggerating the situation, maybe he's lying, whatever, okay? However it may be. Now, to play devil's advocate, let's just say what Eddie Hearn is saying is 100% correct of what he said. Conor Ben has been approached, or a member of Conor Ben's team has been approached. Chris Eubank Jr. has been spoken to about having that fight on Sky Sports. Okay, so let's start off with Chris Eubank Jr. Now, Chris Eubank Jr. is a network free agent. His final fight under his contract with Sky Sports was Liam Smith, the rematch, where he looked fantastic, right? So naturally, Sky Sports and Chris Eubank Jr. have had a very good relationship. Chris Eubank Jr. has made some nice money and they have done some good viewership. They've made good business together, okay? So naturally, they'll probably want Sky Sports will probably want to extend that contract, renew the contract, if you like. So maybe they've already had a conversation. Again, I'm speculating all this, okay? I'm, I have no inside intel on this part, okay? But maybe within this meeting, Chris Eubank Jr. said, you're right, we have had a good relationship and I would love to continue because um, I have been the face of Sky Sports and whatever else, that'd be great. But the, but the issue is I really want that kind of Ben fight. It's a lot of money for me. And I want to shut this kid up. Maybe whoever it is that he's speaking to at Sky Sports have said, well, maybe we can make an offer to Conor Ben about having it on Sky Sports. Okay? So at this point, there's nothing wrong with that because Sky Sports can sign up Chris Eubank Jr. and they can make an offer to Conor Ben. There's nothing in the rule book that says that they can't do that. OK, now, with that said, if that kind of scenario happened, Chris Eubank Jr., he's speaking with Matchroom or whatever. And Matchroom said, you know what, we really want to make you versus Conor Ben in December. He can turn around to them and say, cool, um, Scott Sports would like to put on that fight too. And maybe they've misinterpreted it as Sky Sports are trying to put on that fight in December. Maybe. Okay, so let's move on to Conor Ben. Because I said, what if any of that happened with Chrissy Bank Jr., there's nothing illegal there. So no reason to send a letter. Now with Conor Ben, going by what Eddie Hearn has said, if I heard it correctly, it's a case of they've spoken, somebody somewhere from Sky Sports or Boxer has spoken to an associate, a friend, whatever it may be, of Conor Ben about having the Chrissy Bank Jr. fight on Sky Sports. Now, as long as they didn't speak directly to Conor Ben, no rules have been broken. None. Because while he's under contract with Matchroom for a promotional deal, while he's got a manager and, and whatever else, you facilitate all the talks through those kind of people, right? For anything official. Now, I'll give you an example here. I know many, many fighters in boxing. A lot of managers, a lot of trainers, a lot of promoters, and wherever else. And I speak with people all the time. And let's just say, for example, somebody says, you know what, I'd really like to sign that particular fighter. Who's that particular fighter managed by? Oh, uh, um, they're managed by so and so. And who are they promoted by? Are they promoted by so and so. Okay, I wonder when their management deal is up or, or the promotional deal is up. I could go, well, I could find out for you. And I'll go ask that fighter. 
then I can go back with the answer. There's nothing wrong with that. Do you know why? Because I am not a license holder. Now, I'm not saying that has or hasn't happened to me, okay? Mum's a word, all right? But if something like that has happened for Connor Ben's side of the street, you, that somebody somewhere has spoken to an associate or a friend of Connor Ben, there's nothing wrong with that because they're not breaking any rules, okay? It's very simple. They're not breaking any rules. So no real need for um, any kind of letter. Now, could this also be a deflection? Obviously, Conor Ben, he's fighting this weekend. He's in Florida, I think it is. Where, obviously, the opinion on him fighting this Saturday is quite varied. Some people say, well, it's fair enough. He's not officially suspended. He's fighting outside the UK. They're, the officials out there are okay with it. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. On the flip side of that, people will say, but he's still got a process to go through because he needs to wait for the British Box Border Control and UCAD to go forward with their appeal and he needs to wait out that process. Just because you can fight doesn't mean you should fight, okay? People will say that kind of thing. Of course, Eddie Hearn will then say, well, we don't know when the appeal is going to be. It could be next week. It could be in six months' time. It could be in two, three years' time. We don't know. Should Conor Ben just sit there and wait for them? When... He he's legally allowed to fight. So there's all kinds of grey areas. So maybe this is a deflection to get people away from those kind of talks. Of course, that won't work because obviously that's a big talking point right now. Now, it could also be a deflection because he really wants to put on Chrissy Van Jr. Conor Ben in the UK. Now, as far as what I can tell, it's a case of he's pretty much given the British Box Border Control an, um, an ultimatum of we're going to put on this fight with or without you. With you, we put it on the UK. Great, everyone's happy. Give Conor Benny's license back. Clear him to fight in the UK. If not, no worries, we'll go elsewhere. We'll go abroad. That's the impression that I'm getting. So clearly he's at a bit of a, a loose end when it comes to putting on this particular fight in the UK. Because there's no guarantee the board are going to go, yeah, okay. All right, so maybe this is all of this whole situation with Chris Eubank Jr. and Conor Ben sending letters to Sky Sports, Boxer, Ben Shalom, whoever it may be. It's just a way to get people looking at that situation and not looking at what's really going on right now. Because officially, he needs permission to fight in the UK, he needs to get his license back, and he doesn't have his license back yet, does he not? So there's still an outstanding issue to have. Is it all deflection? Possibly. Is it a case of Eddie Hearn has been misinformed? Possibly. Is he exaggerating the situation? Possibly. Who knows? Okay. Anyway, as I said in the opening of the video, there has been no talks from anyone at Boxer or Sky Sports about putting Chrissy Bank Jr. versus Conor Ben on in December. And no approach has been made to Conor Ben. So just to get that out there, okay? Drop your thoughts below. Click on the subscribe. Catch you next video.